Hello my friends, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry, it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded a video. And again, I'm gonna tell you why. I know this happened last time too, and I'm usually trying to get two videos out a week, but I have been out of town this last couple of weeks, and I'm gonna explain to you what I've been up to. So today is actually a story time video, which is the first time I've ever done one of these, and I'm really excited about it. So here we go. We're gonna be talking about my experience with Extreme Mobility Camps for the Blind. Now, if you've never heard of Extreme Mobility Camps for the Blind, I'm about to tell you all about it. For short, it's called Exmo Camps, and it's a nonprofit organization. Um, basically, what it is, is I've actually been involved for about 10 years, and it's where blind youth get together and have a camp twice a year. We have a summer camp and a winter camp, and actually, I believe I've talked about it in previous videos because my best friend, slash pretty much sister, Kayla, who is also blind that I'm really close to, and I've talked about her in previous videos, she I met through Exmo Camps. And this couple, Brian and Mindy Schwartz, who started Exmo Camps, connected Kayla and I, and that's how we met. So I started going 10 years ago to a summer camp and then um, went to winter camps from there. Every winter, uh, they go to Colorado for a week and they snow ski and they teach blind people how to drive a snowmobile, which I think is awesome. It's super fun and just do lots of fun winter sports. Um, it's called extreme mobility for a reason because it's extreme sports. So this summer, which was just last week, um, I was at extreme mobility camps. Now I didn't get to stay the whole week, unfortunately, because my cousin got married in Oregon. So I had to go out of town for that. But normally the camp is a whole week. So I went uh, Sunday night through Wednesday night. So I stayed for half. And it was super fun and I'm gonna kind of go over a little bit of what we did that week. So the camp was held in Southern California, which is where I live. So it was literally 15 minutes from me. And what we did was we arrived, everyone arrived Sunday night, everyone flew in, blind people from all over. You know, we had one girl from Canada and then we have them from all over the US that fly in. Anyone's, you know, invited to come. If you're blind, anywhere from, I believe it's ages 13 to 30. Um, so we, you know, it's kind of a youth sort of thing. So basically, they come, we all got there Sunday night, we had dinner together, fellowshiped, and then Monday morning, we got up bright and early and went to Hurricane Harbor, which is an amusement water park here in Valencia, which is about 30 minutes from where I live. So that was super fun. We got really wet all day and, you know, went to water slides and went swimming and, um, I was with my best friend Kayla and we went on the lazy river. We kind of like would sit in a raft and just float down the river. If you've ever been to the lazy river at a water park, it's so fun because it kind of has a current that takes you and it's just so relaxing. So we did that, um, that was all day. And then every evening after events, after activities, we come back to, you know, together at a house for usually a pool party and we have a night of worship, which is super fun. It's a faith-based camp. We do have, a couple of faith-based camps, and basically what that means is that we teach that Jesus is our Savior, we worship the Lord, and we want everyone to know Jesus as their Savior as well. So that's what we did. Um, we worshiped Monday night, and then Tuesday morning, we um, basically what they did is um, they did a nine-mile hike. I did this last year with my guide dog. It was super fun, and my guide dog, Gabby, actually was at the front of the group the entire way for the nine-mile hike. We hiked from the dorms we stayed at all the way to the beach. Um, the beach that's about, yeah, it's about nine miles. It's pretty far, but it's so much fun. You get the ocean breeze as you're hiking. And this year I didn't do it just because it was a little bit warmer and Gabby, my dog, I didn't want her pads to burn and her shoes don't really fit her right now. So, but last year I really enjoyed it. Um, and it was so much fun, but that was super fun. And is if you have shoes on your dog and it's not too hot, it's amazing. And dogs love it. So we did that Tuesday morning and then we all met at the beach and I met them there for lunch. We had hot dogs and s'mores and all, you know, all us blindies, we got to fellowship and I made new friends and um, there was about, I think there was four guide dogs there, including mine and Kayla's and that was really fun. You know, and they were all from different schools, which was even more fun. Um, we had a guide dogs to the blind, we had a seeing eye, and then we had one from a school from Canada, which I thought was awesome. I forget what the school's called, but she had a standard poodle guide dog, which I love because she's allergic to dogs. So some schools... I think a lot of schools do poodles for those types of situations, which I'm a huge fan of poodles, so I'm like, maybe I should pretend I'm allergic to dogs. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, that was really fun. So Tuesday was great. We did another night of worship, and then Wednesday was my favorite day. So all of us 
blind people got to go boating because Brian and Mindy have a boat and a bunch of other volunteers took out their boats. And what we did was we all went to Lake Castaic, which is kind of near where Hurricane Harbor is, so about 30, 45 minutes from where I live. And we got to, I got to wakeboard, which I learned how to wakeboard a few years ago. But there were a lot of blind people who it was their first time and a few of them were able to stand up on the wakeboard and there was water skiing and inner tubing and we got to drive on sea dews and just, oh my goodness, the lake is one of my favorite places to go. It's so beautiful and just serene and you can feel the Holy Spirit um, as you're out on the lake and I, oh, it's one of my favorite places in the boat. Oh my goodness. If you've ever writ, writ, bleh, can't talk today. If you've ever driven <laughs> or rode in a boat, um, it is so much fun because you're sitting there and you can just like hear the motor, you know, like the boat's relaxing motor and you can like feel the water, you know, and hear it around you. And oh my goodness, it is so relaxing. So anyway, I had to let you guys know about this week because first of all, that explains why I haven't been posting videos because I've been out of town and haven't really had internet. So that's a couple of the reasons. But Extreme Mobility Camps has changed my life. Honestly, it really, really has. When I say that, I mean it because I met Kayla and as I've said in previous videos before, I knew her, I didn't have any blind friends. I didn't realize that I wasn't alone. I thought I was the only one. I thought that, you know, I had to, you know, go through life as a blind person on my own, that I didn't have anyone else who related with me or understood me. And, you know, when I was in high school and junior high and all those school years where I was the only blind person at my school, I can just remember feeling super out of place a lot of times. And of course I, I did get teased, but you know, more than that, I just kind of felt like, you know, not a lot of people understood me and I wasn't able to have friends that could truly relate. And I did have good friends, but it was just different. I can't really explain it. And those of you who are blind, you totally know what I'm talking about. But the cool thing is through extreme mobility camps, I have met some lifelong friends, not just Kayla, but many others who have changed my life and allowed me to realize that I'm not alone and that there's a whole community of blind people out there and we can all relate to each other and help each other out and be friends um, and kindred spirits as I like to call it. So seriously, if there's any of you who are blind and watching this video and are interested in learning more about Extreme Mobility Camps, go ahead and let me know in the comments um, or you can go to their website, extrememobilitycamps.org where you can you know, kind of find out more. They also have a YouTube channel, Extreme Mobility Camps, and you can subscribe to that and see some of our fun videos of camps over the years. Seriously, you guys, it is the most fun experience as a blind person. It's, like I said, changed my life. It can change yours too. And I'm telling you, we have a winter camp and a summer camp, and it is worth going to both because I've been to both and it's so much fun. So I know that was a super long story, but um, I'm so excited to have done my first story time video and shared with you guys my experience over the past week of my vacation. Um, they had more fun Thursday. They all went surfing, um, which blind people can surf. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And I've been surfing before and it was super fun. And Friday they were able to drive these like um, these fun cars. It's like this indoor car driving place and there's these little cars and you have these little tracks and the blind people get to drive. It's so fun. So it seriously was a week filled with so much fun. And if I could have stayed the whole time, I would have. But like I said, it is worth it. And if you're blind and you're looking for to have some fun with some other blind people and to make some connections that will last for a lifetime, seriously let me know and reach out to them because we would love to have you at our next camp. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're interested. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.